Hey everybody, it's Nikki. So over the last couple of weeks, I have accumulated enough Lego, enough Lego merch to kind of give you guys a little haul. I'm really excited because I haven't opened everything that I've received. And I just thought that this would be a fun video because you know what? Everybody loves to see a good unboxing. And like, I kind of don't even know where I want to start, but this, you know what, this is right in front of me. So we're gonna start off with <laughs> my nubs set. So this is the Crimson Firehawk, you all recognize it. It is a severely overpriced Lego Star Wars set. However, it has one of my favorite Lego Star Wars minifigures, a character I have been waiting to collect for far too long. At retail value, this set is $50. That is the most absurd thing I have ever heard. And it's highly unfortunate because I, it may be childish, but I did actually watch this show, Young Jedi Adventures, had it on in the background. It was just like a cutesy thing. It was the only Star Wars content released at the time. But you know me, I like my constant intake of Star Wars. So I watched it and I freaking loved Nubs. I also did kind of like Nash, who's also coming in this set. But anyway, when the show came out, I did really want them to make a Crimson Firehawk, so I was hoping the set would be made, but for that price, it was just something I had to wait for a sale for. And for Amazon Prime Day, this set went on sale for like $30, which is exactly what it should have been at retail. So I got it, and I freaking love it. I can't wait to build it. Now to tell you the truth, after seeing LEGO Star Wars Rebuild the Galaxy, it is slightly tempting to turn my nubs into a Darth Nubs because he was equally adorable in that show. But I definitely couldn't have justified buying two and I'm just gonna have to keep them, you know, as original nubs. I'm just really glad that I got it because I've been waiting for that set to go on sale, you guys. Next LEGO I got. Oh, you know it's good. You know it's some sort of old used set when it comes in a, a normal shipping box. This, you guys, was a white whale set for me. I have wanted to get this set ever since I started collecting because in this box is one of my favorite ships in Star Wars. Uh, I don't know if that's a common... Is this a, is this a traditional favorite? I don't know. I kind of think that it is. But anyway, this set did actually retire just before I started collecting. So I think it retired in 2019. I may have already been like looking through the Lego aisle but I'm assuming at the time, because all you other collectors knew, hey, this set is really cool, it's gonna, it's gonna go out of stock this year, I'm assuming that it was just gone, because I don't recall like ever seeing it on the shelves. Okay. I did already, I opened it up, just to like take a peek. Let's see. I don't imagine, based on just the retirement year and what this bag looks like, that you could guess what it is because let's be honest a lot of ships in star wars are brown they're either brown or black so this is set 75220 the sand crawler and i did not get it with any minifigures which does kind of suck but i found it on ebay for like a ridiculously good deal i think i got it for like 80 dollars including shipping and oh my gosh i was just so excited and I felt like I had to grab it as soon as we saw this deal because even though I've wanted this set for literally years, like we're talking since 2020, so at least the last four years I've been wanting to pick this up and looking for a good deal, mind you. Just so happened to be that I stumbled upon it at like the perfect time. I'm not actually going to build the sand crawler alone with this set. Um, I'm not gonna get specific. I did already kind of reference what I want to build earlier in this video because it's the sand crawler, but not not really just the sand crawler. So you know what? If you know what I'm talking about, drop a comment down below, but you can expect to see what that's going to be in like the next couple of videos I'm going to get building basically as soon as I'm done with this video because I'm really, really excited. But yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. I've wanted that set for so long and I can't wait to start the project that it's in my head. You know what I'm talking about. Benji knows what I'm talking about. Okay, next thing is more of a household Lego room redecorating idea. You may have seen, I think it was a video I made like two weeks ago. I'm, this is a new Lego room for me and I'm revamping the whole space. And I saw these on Amazon. These are just like little wall hangers for bags or for hoodies or something, which I have a lot of and I kind of needed to find something like this. This just gave me like Toy Story vibes because it's gigantic Lego pieces and I just thought it was so cute. So I did buy two of them and I'm gonna put them just side by side because I feel like that's a good amount of hangers to have. 
little bit of extra storage space and I'm gonna put it over there behind the uh, the door, which you can't see. This second video will be up soon, by the way. It's one of the next ones that I wanna work on. I mean, as you can see, I literally have not been able to work on setting up this background anymore. Part two to like the Lego room setup video will be up in a couple of weeks. We're gonna be putting up LEDs. We're gonna finally put up those banners that you can't really see behind me. Oh, look, I just built the haunted house. I also wanna make a video where I like transform this into a very autumn-y Halloween background, <laughs> but I have to finish the like base setup before I can even do that. So we're a little behind schedule. Thank you, cold. <clears throat> By the way, I just wanna point this out because I know that there is always like one or two of you who notices when I switch up my glasses, I am wearing different frames today. And the only reason I'm mentioning it is because these are my Star Wars pair eyewear glasses. So I did a collaboration with them like a few months ago and they sent me these three different top frames. These are the coolest things ever. I actually meant to wear these for the video and I was only reminded because I saw them sitting in front of me. These are my favorite ones. So these are the Darth Maul frames. And it's got like his face design and the horns on it. These ones are so sick. And then I also have the Ahsoka ones, also super amazing. And then finally the C-3PO ones. And I did just wanna point these out really quick because if you guys are interested, I think these are the most fun glasses that like I've ever had. And I love that you can just change up the design with the little magnetic thing. They're like so easy to switch up and they do have these new Halloween frames right now, which I'm also super into. I kind of wanted to get a couple of those. This is not a paid advertisement, by the way. I just, I think these are really cool. These ones are my favorite. I love to wear them. Sorry, I'm getting off track, but if you are interested, I'll link them down below. I do have an affiliate code. If you type in BRICS10, you get like a 10% off discount, which these glasses are already so affordable, so like I highly recommend checking them out. I definitely hope that they come out with new Star Wars designs soon. They already have like, I don't know, 15, and I love them all. But so far, the only three I have are 3PO, Ahsoka, and Darth Maul, just because I thought that they were the coolest looking ones. But I definitely would have been happy with some more. Anyway, the next thing that we are going to be unboxing is not actually a Lego set, but it is what tons of you guys have been rushing to Costco for and based on like the size of this box and maybe even saw the side of it some of you might already know what it is <laughs> it's a suitcase backpack combo you guys I did not think that I was gonna be picking this thing up so quite a few people on Instagram have been rushing to go and pick this up from Costco. And I thought, you know what? Let me just go look. I just wanna go see if I can find them. I just wanna look at them. Like that's always a good idea, right? That's like going to the Lego store just to look. So they had one of these open and you could just like walk around with it, open it up. And I, you know what? It was just way too cool. And I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish this came in different colors. Like, yes, this red is classic and out of, the red and the blue one, this is the one that I definitely wanted to get. I have not opened this yet, oh my god. <laughs> However, I do wish that they remade all of the colors that this had originally come in, because there were so many different options. There used to be a pink one, and I really wanted it, but you can only buy them like resale, and it's really expensive. Oh, look at this! Is this not so cute? <gasps> I haven't decided if I wanted to like cover this with some stickers from like my Lego friends. However, I don't know if this material actually will agree with that now that I'm feeling it. But it's a good carry-on size. I'm holding this really awkwardly. No, this is a really good carry-on size. Like I wheeled it around, it was really comfortable. <laughs> Look at the wheels say Lego. The carrying handle is like a bunch of these Lego pieces. I just think it's neat. I really like it. Practically speaking, I thought this was great. Like, especially for going to a Lego convention or just going to, to travel for a short trip to like LA or something. I'm excited about this. I am probably gonna make a video where I show you how much Lego I can pack into this thing. <laughs> I will be honest, this, I don't know if it's for me. I might give this to someone else. I don't think I could fit like anything in here. This is definitely a kid-sized backpack, but it's cute. I don't know, maybe I'll hang on to it, but I was really just kind of into this deal for the suitcase. <laughs> and because it was Costco, it was pretty affordable. I think it was like 80 for this combo. So you get the backpack and the luggage both. While we're kind of in this category, another thing that I did get on Amazon is this beautiful Lego tote. I love canvas bags. I literally have 
way too many. This reminds me of the Trader Joe's bag, which is also for some reason just like really trendy right now. But I saw this on the like official Lego store on Amazon and I was like, where, where did this come from? I've literally never seen this before. So I bought one and as soon as it got here, I was like, you know what? Let me share this link with everyone because I think everybody's gonna wanna get one of these. It's so cute. So I took a picture, I went to the Amazon listing and it was sold out. I am so sorry. I promise you, because I did post a picture of it anyway on my story and so many people were really into it. I promise you, I am watching that listing like a hawk. And the second it comes back, if it does, I will be posting it on my story so that you guys can go buy one. Cause a lot of people messaged me and were like, I really want to get that bag. Where do I find it? It's sold out. I'm so sorry. That's all the Lego stuff that I got though. I mean, I, I'm not, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do kind of really want to buy because right now is double VIP or uh, right now is double insiders. And there's one set that I've really had my eye on for a long time. And that is the A-frame cabin. And especially now that the weather is changing, the leaves are changing. I'm starting to put up this autumnal background behind me. I want that A-frame cabin so bad and it's retiring this year. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I really need to get my hands on that before it retires. It's still on Amazon for $10 off. It's still on lego.com, but because of double insiders, I think it would be better to do it that way because I would end up getting like the $15 off if you count like how many VIP points you'd get. So I think in the next couple of days, I am gonna pull the trigger and also get that. So we can go ahead and add that to this haul. Yay, to my bank account, so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and to top it off, this is not Lego, this is Star Wars. My local Barnes and Noble is closing and I'm really heartbroken about it, you guys. That's where I spend, like, I go to Barnes and Noble at least once a week, usually more in autumn and winter time, and they're closing. They might be relocating, but right now their status is just shutting down. So the entire store is 25% off. There was no good Lego, I already looked, but I did buy two Star Wars books. The first one is the Star Wars Living Force book. A lot of people have said this is their favorite Star Wars novel to ever come out. So I'm really excited to read this. And the second one is the new Mace Windu book. This one just came out like three days ago. I hadn't even heard about it until I saw people posting like unboxing pictures and videos on Instagram. This is a beautiful cover. Like many of you, I'm not a big fan of Mace Windu. He is not my favorite character, but he's intentionally written that way, right? Like, that's okay. He's like a bad guy on the good guys team. However, I was reading like the summary for this book and it sounds so good. I think basically the gist of it is it takes place after Qui-Gon dies and he like has Mace go on some sort of mission or like Mace Windu is trying to fulfill one of Qui-Gon's dying wishes. I don't know, it's something like that. And this is not the official announcement for this. However, I have been talking for quite a bit on this channel about starting a book club. And I officially opened like the group, the group is open, but I, I'm not sharing the link yet. I'm not quite ready. I think I'll do that, you know, this month at least, but I'm thinking this would be a really good first book to read. So I don't know, that might be, Maybe not the best choice because a lot of people aren't into this character. Don't know how many of you would be into it in general. However, if you were interested in that book club and you do want to read this book, let me know in the comments down below so I can get an idea. Like, is this a good starting point or should we really go with something a little bit more interesting? Either way, I'm really excited. I think these are both gonna be great books. I have lots of other ones lined up that I'm super excited to read. On that note, you guys, I am late to work. So I have to end this video. I do really hope that you enjoyed this haul. I was excited to just like share all of these cute, fun things that I got. I think I'm the most excited about the um, sand crawler set because I'm just really excited to build that and show you guys what my secret project is gonna be. So my brain is kind of exploding with like, this is coming soon, this is coming soon. I'm looking around and I'm like, ah, do let me know what your thoughts are on this haul. If you also picked anything up, I will be dropping links down below by the way, so you can find anything that I mentioned in this video. As I said, I do have lots of fun videos coming out soon, as well as the official book club announcement video. And I'm really excited about all of these projects, so. Hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.